There you are. You are here about the job. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Hey, welcome back to Talon Gaming. This is Chris. Today we present First Impressions Episode 3, Control Ultimate Edition. We'll be looking at some of the highlights from the first hour of gameplay to help give you the new user experience and help you decide whether you want to buy it or not. I'll also have some of my original commentary and reactions from when I played, as well as some thoughts and impressions recorded after the fact. All right, enough of that. Let's get on with the show. a backstory here. Shit. Shit, he shot himself. Shit, shit, shit. No oh, shit. Let's pick up the murder weapon. Here, mate. What the hell? And there goes the poster. No kidding. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions cool. upon the perceived reality. Cool. So this is what they consider a, an astral plane challenge. And you need to complete these in order to control these objects of power that are created by these altered world events. These are also the main source of your powers. Pretty unique. Oh, oh. where did that fucker go? The same gun. The pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. She's got this voice in her head. And this gun's alive. It was a big mind fuck. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, to be what here. the hell? <gasps> what is that? You can't let this happen. You still can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. She gets migraines. Get the fuck away. <laughs> Speak your mind. Healths and whatnot as they drop them. Right. You can pick them up to recover your own health. Bodies hanging in the middle of the air. 
hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's out. Kind of weird, listening to her talk to herself. tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. She was here for her job director. interview. <laughs> Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And That's extraordinarily that funny thing she's wearing. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. <laughs> so she's trying to cleanse the body of the hiss. Successfully. I can't cleanse them, I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I cut out a lot of that. There's a lot of uh, conversations and cutscenes throughout the game, even in that first hour. I had a hard time, but I, I cut out probably half an hour of it. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. That glow around them is uh, it's like a shield, a hiss shield around whatever it's taken over. You have all kinds of mods and stuff you can do to your weaponry, which is kind of neat. Apparently there's other outfits and whatnot as well. It's kind of cool. Uh, the, the game plays really well on my machine, but it will do a lot better with a uh, top tier graphics card. I'm running a, a 1080 GT or a GTX 1080 and uh, 1440p was a bit of a chore. That's weird. 40 frames per second give or take. And that's what the graphics cranked mind you but still and it's pretty demanding. Power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. That's a five and a quarter floppy drive, or floppy disk, sorry. Cool. That's the premise of a lot of the game is these supernatural abilities she has, one of them being telekinesis. So far, this is what I think. 
The sound effects and voice acting are pretty good. The graphics are really good, the effects are fantastic, and the cutscene quality is really quite detailed. So far, the story is really interesting. There's quite a bit of detail in all the documents and conversations in the first hour gameplay. The game plays quite nicely, and li but like I mentioned earlier, you would be best to have something along the lines of a GTX 1060 or higher to play at 1080p and a GTX 1080 or higher to play at 1440p with playable frame rates. The controls feel very intuitive as well, which is always a bonus. I'm looking forward to continuing on with this one, so be sure to check back for a full review. I'm really curious what to hear what you think of Control or Control Ultimate Edition or whatever you want to call it in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching everyone and remember to like, comment, and subscribe so we know to keep creating this kind of content. This is Chris from Talon Gaming, signing out.